Garrier, performance worthy of winning any game. And out of nothing at the end, we've somehow not managed to win that game. How do you feel? Uh, I feel really proud of the players. Uh, the best team in the league came here today uh, in the last eight games on form. And we totally outplayed them from start to finish. First half, I would say, was probably 50-50, but second half, there was only one team in the game. We were outstanding right through the whole team. Uh, and I feel for the players, really, for what they put in the game. But that's football. It's a cruel game. Uh, we have to learn little small lessons. Can we finish the game off and score that second goal? And we need to defend one more long ball and we see the game out. But uh, can't ask any more of the players. I thought they were absolutely outstanding today. It's such fine margins, isn't it? In stoppage time, Josh Key gets Polaxed, which adds on that extra time, which Sheffield Wednesday score. We'd perhaps be standing here talking about a win if that hadn't happened. Yeah, we were trying to get a sub on. The fourth official didn't let us get a sub on at that point as well, which I don't know why. Uh, so yeah, the rules were kind of made up a bit at the end there when, when we were trying to get a sub on and things. But uh, I want to focus on the performance, really. The players were absolutely outstanding. And like I said, this is the best team in the last eight games on form. Uh, they came here with a pretty much a full strength squad and uh, they couldn't get near a second half and that that is a massive positive for us that, that we have to continue to build on and take forward. You certainly can't question the work rate, the, the heart and the desire in that performance, can you? Because they are absolutely giving everything out there today. Yeah, they were on quality uh, and understanding and knowing where the space was. I thought with the wing backs and, and how we sucked the full backs out and played down the sides, we, we gave them all sorts of problems. They, they couldn't live with it. Uh, and like I said, I thought we could have scored more goals in that second half with an extra pass uh, or, a, or a bit of quality in the final third, but uh, really happy with how we played and, and, and so many aspects of the game. At times we were, we were passing around, running rings around Sheffield Wednesday. Are you starting to see bits of what you're trying to do here over the, over the last couple, well, over the last few games really, that are starting to come into fruition? Yeah, definitely. Uh, I thought Morecambe was an excellent performance and the challenge to the players was, can, can we do that? against a team higher up the league, against a team that is clearly in form. Uh, and the answer today was yes. Uh, like I said, football's a cruel game. You know, the last two games, I think the performances have deserved more points, but uh, we have to take the point again and, and move on and look at the next game and, and go and try and win it. But uh, the performance levels now have been set at a really high standard and we have to continue that. Jamal made a couple of great saves in the game, but, but really he wasn't tested that much, which from a defensive point of view must be pleasing. Yeah, I thought we were better. I thought we were much more on the front foot. I thought our press from, from the front players and midfielders was exceptional. And when we had to defend, we defended well. Uh, and yeah, that, that meant Jamal was, was pretty much uh, redundant in that second half. Or, you know, apart from that one shot later on, the other shots were either one shot was blocked and another shot over the bar. So we reduced them to very, very little second half. And uh, that was testament to the players. Jake Caprice hasn't scored many goals. In fact, that was only his second professional goal ever at the age of 30. He's been trying a few of them this season. They haven't always come off, but when they do, I mean, a great way to take the lead. Yeah, when he wound his right foot up, I did think, what the hell is he doing? But uh, <laughs> then I celebrated when it went in. So, uh, no, I'm delighted for him. I think he's been playing really well the last few weeks. Uh, and he was obviously playing on the left, which is uh, not on his natural side, but he cut in on his right. And I think it gives him that option on the left to do that. And as a fantastic strike and, and a great goal. Josh Key back in his natural position that we're used to seeing him today. What was the reason behind perhaps bringing him backwards, sort of back on the pitch a bit, but more in a more defensive position? You just to get the extra midfielder in today, Keggs, well, it was, it was actually going to be Harry Kite, but Keggs came in and he has been training exceptionally well. And I thought his performance, you know, for his first start in, in league football was outstanding. His energy levels, his quality when he had the ball, uh, so he can take a lot from that game. So that was a big plus from the game that you know we've seen his quality and his development over the last few weeks is is going to be a big plus for us in the second half of the season. And uh, yeah, we felt that we needed that extra man to press in a certain way, and and Kegs was really key to that, and that that meant that Josh went back to wing back. We saw glimpses of what Kegs could do in the Papillon's Trophy earlier this season before you arrived. I think we saw exactly the same from him today. I mean, it's going to give you a selection headache in that midfield position uh, as the season goes on, I think, because like you mentioned, a brilliant, brilliant performance. Yeah, superb and, and really deserved for the way he's been training. His training has went up a level the last probably two or three weeks now. 
and, and I've kept saying to him, your opportunity will come, you have to be ready. And today, he definitely took that opportunity with a, a great performance. I think today has also shown, as, as we've spoken about before, that we do fear nobody and, and that we can compete at this level. We can, yeah, we can, but you know, performance is one thing, results is another. So, uh, you know, once we kind of get over the, the disappointment of, of uh, conceding such a late goal and uh, once we analyse the game, there'll, there'll be little lessons we can learn, but uh, the confidence should be high. I said to the players, you know, their heads should be very high walking out of this stadium because to a man they were excellent today. Does it feel like a case of the performances are there, you've got to where you want to be with those, now it's just about the results? Yeah, it's fine details, I think, at this level. It's, it's you know, the small details that, that win and uh, lose or, or draw you games. So uh, we have to, you know, score that second goal when we're so much on top or we have to see out the game a little bit better in, in that last action. Uh, and those are the fine margins that at this level you get punished for. So uh, we have to learn those small lessons, but also keep that confidence of, of how we're playing. And we're finally on the set out crowd here at the park today. You can feel it just as we took the lead, it just seemed to lift the atmosphere hugely. And the big bank in, in the final half an hour particularly were excellent. Yeah, it's a, an amazing stadium uh, to, to play football in. And the backing we get, uh, I think, helps and inspires those, those types of performances. So uh, we need to continue that every game we have here this season.